Hello, welcome back to How Messy Can Hannah's Hair Get. On this episode, we have my hair looking like this. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm here to talk about oil. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, hopefully you're here because you're in my upline, downline, crossline, and you're willing to put up with my shenanigans. So, <laughs> today I want to talk about basal vitality. Um, this is actually a brand new bottle. I haven't opened this one yet. I could, I haven't opened one. I couldn't find it. I think it's put away somewhere. I think I must have used it the other day. Um, and didn't put it back where it goes. So, this is my backup vitality oil. Um, anyways, as usual, I am still not a medical doctor. Please don't ask me for any medical advice. Um, if you do have medical questions, please direct them to your doctors. Um, some things Young Living does have, you know, lots of information on their website that you can find on specific oils. You can find, you can buy a desk reference from Life Science Publishing. Um, they have really good ones. I have a desk reference. They also have pocket references where you can look up stuff like that. Um, and they're totally compliant with Young Living stuff. Um, so, yeah. Basal Vitality. Let's get to it. So, it's a white label. It's labeled for ingestion. They only come in 5 milliliters. This one does need to be diluted 2080. So, pretty heavy dilution there. One drop of this, four drops of carrier oil or whatever. Um, basal Vitality. <laughs> basal Vitality? Basal Essential Oil has been known to have antiviral, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory properties. So, it's really helpful for lots of things medically um of course you know please refer those questions to your doctors um let them know if you're using essential oils um apparently good for migraines respiratory infections fights mental fatigue lots of good stuff there um tons of health benefits you can take these in capsules you can i don't know why you would drink it in water but i guess you could um, if I wanted to take this, like, as a supplement, I would put it in a capsule with a little bit of carrier oil because it does need some heavy dilution here. So I want to be careful and make sure I'm not messing up anything by not diluting it enough. Um, or you can cook with it just for flavor. So you can greatly reduce the amount of dried spices that you have in your house if you're willing to use cook with vitality oils um it's basically the same idea except you totally don't need very much at all because you just need a tiny little bit these are like super concentrated flavors <laughs> in here so um you could use this as a marinade um so if you were going to marinate some meat or vegetables or whatever put this in here as part of your marinade probably just a drop or two not very much um you can bake this into like a savory bread like even like a cheese bread um like an herbed bread to serve with a dipping sauce or with some kind of butter um pasta you could put it in the pasta dough or you could put it in sauce um the trick with sauces and oils is you want to add these at the end your oils at the end so after you've cooked up your sauce and you're almost ready to serve remove your sauce from the heat and then add your oil mix it in and good and you're good to go because if you um heat some of these oils too much they'll use their <laughs> they'll use they'll lose their health benefits for you so you know if you want all of the health benefits along with all of the flavor add them at the end for preparations like that like sauces um a salad dressing lots of good stuff um lots of stuff you can do with this um and I feel like basil is something that people totally use all the time especially with meat especially with pasta basil is just one of those herbs that you see a lot in recipes um just make sure that you look up how much you actually need which is not very much so um whether you stick a toothpick in here and swirl it in some butter oil whatever before adding it or you just do a drop or two maybe two might be a lot um 
you only need a little bit and just make sure you're mixing it in a way that it can incorporate into whatever you're doing but this is good stuff um so it's a vitality oil it only comes in a five milliliter wholesale it's eleven dollars retail that's fourteen forty seven not very expensive um especially for something that you can use lots of different ways um, because this is exactly the same oil that's in your bottles labeled for topical and aromatic use. You can use this in your diffuser. You can use this topically. You don't have to buy the other one if you have this one. Um, so, you know, it's the same thing. It's not going to hurt you to put this on your skin as long as you're diluting it enough. So, that's Basil Vitality. What do you use Basil Vitality for? Um, would you be willing to cook with this? I do want to know. I haven't popped the top on this one. Um, I'm significantly more comfortable with like putting it in a capsule and taking it internally than cooking because I'm afraid I would mess it up and use too much. But not that I wouldn't do it because I totally would. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember, Young Living is giving everyone, every new member that enrolls in with a premium starter kit for the rest of this month, January 2020, free shipping. Um, so, oil starter kits with the 12 oils and the diffusers, CBD starter kits, those are brand new, Thief starter kits, Savvy Mineral starter kits, whatever starter kit you want, um, and you can even get ba uh, free shipping with a basic starter kit. So, as long as you hit 100 PV when you're adding products to your basic starter kit, you'll get free shipping too. So, if you need help with that, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll be happy to help you with that. My link is always in the description box if, you know, you want to buy a kit. Totally no big deal if you just want to come hang out and talk oil with me. I'm all for that. So, let me know. Would you cook with this? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.